Welcome to the Cuteness Report! To make the Hello Kitty wallet, you will need a piece of fabric measuring 8.5 by 26 inches, a 6 by 3 inch bow, and a little snap button. We're going to start by making the fold lines on the back of the fabric. We're going to mark 3.5 inches and then another 3.5 inches and this will form the divider for our dollar bills. Then we're going to measure 2 inches and another 2 inches and this will form the divider for the credit card section. In total we should have four sections. We should have two that measure 3.5 inches and we should have two that measure 2 inches. Now we're going to start folding. We're going to take our first section and fold it at the crease. The top edge of that section should match up with the second fold line. Then we're just going to make a crease with our fingers. For the second fold line, we'll be folding the entire section the opposite way. Be sure to make a crease on that fold line. It should match the top of the last section. For the third fold line, we're going to fold it the opposite way from our last fold and the top folds from our last two sections should match up to that fourth fold line. Make a nice crease on that fold. For our fourth and final fold line, we're going to be folding the opposite way than what we did last time. So we're going to take all of our folds and just fold it towards the back and then make a crease on that fourth fold line. So right now it should look like this with a raw edge and two folds. Now we're going to flip the whole thing over. The right side of our fabric should be facing us. Now we're going to open up the last fold. We should see the two dividers, the large divider and the small divider. Here we'll be sewing the seam that splits the credit card sections. We'll be marking the line at four and a quarter inches and drawing it down to 3.5 inches. Now we're ready to sew that seam. As you can see, we have sewn our seam to divide the credit card section. Now we're going to fold it back up like it previously was, and then we're going to take the top of the fabric and fold it down to the bottom of our sections. The corners should meet one another and be squared with each other. This is how the folds should look at the end. There should be two folds, and then also there should be two raw edges. Be sure that the folds and the raw edges are flush with one another. Now we're ready to sew in our last two seams, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. We're done sewing our edges as you can see here. We have it on the left and one on the right. On the bottom we should have an opening as well as the folds for our dividers. And since it's a little bit flimsy, at this point you can add in something to stiffen it up. Here we're just going to use interfacing. Place the interfacing into the pockets according to the size. There should be two shallow pockets and two deep pockets. The interfacing for the shallow pockets measure around three and three quarters by two inches and the larger ones are approximately three and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. Those are measurements taken from using a quarter inch seam allowance for the wallet. Be sure that the interfacing goes in straight because they could crumple when inserting them. You can also use something like a ruler to smooth them out. Once all of our interfacing is in, we're ready to turn our wallet inside out. When turning our wallet inside out, we're going to take a look at the bottom. When we see the fabric, the right side facing one another, that's the side that we're going to push right out. We're going to push the fabric out and this is actually the top flap of our wallet. We're going to stick in our ruler here so that we have nice and sharp corners. Now we're going to put in the interfacing for the back of our wallet. As you can see, the bottom edge is still open. We're going to stick our interfacing into this opening, push it all the way in until it reaches the top corners of the flap. It's important that the interfacing is nice and straight. Again, we're going to use that ruler to make sure that there are no folds or wrinkles in our interfacing. Once it is nice and smooth, we're ready to turn out the pockets once again. 
if you notice we still have that raw open edge showing and the pocket is inside out so we're going to take our pocket and fold it out one more time and this is where the interfacing can wrinkle again so just take the pockets and just fold it out try to make it as smooth as possible using your hands and feeling if there are any wrinkles or folds in that interfacing again use the ruler to make sure that all the corners are nice and sharp including those inside the pockets once everything is nice and flat and crisp we're basically done with our wallet all we have to do is just add in the button and the bow on the wallet I sewed in a snap button on the bottom of the wallet as you can see here so now we just have to put on our bow I have a large bow here and I'm going to I don't know put it I think in the middle unless if I want to be fancy and put it in an angle but I think for this one it's straight on I'm going to sew it right on the top I've sewn and secured the bow right on top of the wallet and now we're done with our wallet so now we can put our fun stuff inside. We can put in a gift card or a credit card in one of the small pockets or even a business card. We can put our money, our dollar bills into the larger pocket and it could even fit a passport. Now we can just snap our wallet together and everything is nice and secure in our Hello Kitty wallet. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and I hope you have a wonderful day.